Right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we got Death from Space, Gamma Ray Burst Explained. This is from Curse. You know, I already like my space videos, so this is going to be a good one. Before we do get into this video, I have been uploading videos that YouTube won't let me upload on my Patreon. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Right, Death from Space. Let's go. Imagine if you could gather the energy from every star within 100 million light years, from thousands of galaxies, each with billions of stars. Uh, that'd be Imagine crazy. you could take this kind of power and use it to fire the biggest super weapon in the universe. Ah, uh, you're telling me the biggest super weapon in the universe is a fucking robotic chicken, bro. Imagine the damage it's a <laughs> you could do. It turns out, you don't need to imagine it. Uh, these exist, and they're called gamma ray bursts. But what are these cosmic snipers? And what happens if one takes a shot at Earth? Wait, isn't this the thing where the sun releases like a gamma ray burst and if it was one strong enough, it'll wipe out like all electronics on Earth? Is that, is that what we're on about right now? It could be. I think I'm right. To I'm understand not sure that. gamma ray bursts, we first have to understand gamma rays. Gamma rays are electromagnetic radiation, waves which carry energy just like visible light. Visible light is a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's the part your eyes can see. Yep. At lower energies, there I wish are mine radio could. waves, microwaves, My right and, so blurry. and at higher energies, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. Gamma rays are incredibly powerful. A single gamma ray photon is more energetic than a million visible photons combined. Uh, that's a lot. Their though. high energy makes gamma rays a form of ionizing radiation meaning they are energetic enough to break apart atomic bonds. This Wait, makes them the dangerous to you and me. Ionizing radiation disrupts the delicate biochemical machinery that keeps us alive like a 9mm bullet through a clock. Fortunately... Wait, how would you die then? Let, let, let's say this hit you and it destroys your DNA. Does it just like turn you into dust? Like, what On the Earth, the ozone layer blocks gamma rays, filtering them out before they can harm us. But if the atmosphere blocks gamma rays from space, how were gamma ray bursts or GRBs from space ever discovered? During the Cold War, the USA sent up spy satellites which could detect gamma rays from Soviet nuclear tests in space. They didn't see any bombs, but they did observe faint bursts coming from space, lasting only a few seconds. To date, this may be the only major scientific discovery made by spy satellites that we know about anyway. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that you know about anyway, a spy satellite. Yeah, you really think Russia's spy satellite, they're going to give the information to America. You really think they're going to, yeah. Astronomers use telescopes that see different kinds of light to make their discoveries. And these spy satellites gave them a new pair of eyes. They were a mystery for 30 years, but eventually we discovered the source of a GRB, Space is so cool, a galaxy 6 billion light years away. Holy shit. If a GRB can be seen from such a distance, then it must be incredibly energetic, releasing more energy in a second than the sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. What the fuck? Making GRBs the brightest events in the universe. So, where do they come from? GRBs accompany some of the most violent cataclysmic deaths in the universe and the birth of black holes. There are two types of gamma ray burst, short and long, and each has their own source. Long GRBs last about a minute, and scientists think they are produced by supernova when the core of a massive Wait, did you say that's a long GRB? It lasts one minute? It collapses to become a black hole. Short GRBs last a second and are produced when two neutron stars in a binary merge. Over millions of years, their orbits decay by emitting gravitational waves. Once they're close enough to touch, they crash and splash into each other, forming a black hole. Both supernova and neutron star mergers make the same thing. I swear there's like a million ways to make a black hole. Black holes surrounded by a magnetized disk of gas left over from their parent stars. In these environments, the rotation winds up the magnetic field, which funnels hot jets of particles traveling at nearly the speed of light. The gas in this funnel creates two tight jets of high-energy gamma rays, like a celestial laser gun. So unlike other cosmic explosions which spread out and fade, GRBs stay focused and can be seen from much further. Any more detail would require too much mathematics for a YouTube video. <laughs> The universe a hard is full lesson on of that. these cosmic snipers, firing blindly and randomly into the dark, and they're hitting us all the time. 
On average, Mad. we detect one per day. Fortunately, Mad. most are harmless. All the bursts we have detected so far originated outside the Milky Way, too far away to hurt us. But a nearby GRB could be disastrous. If one goes off within a few light years of us, it would totally cook the surface of the Earth. Or at least, the half that's facing it. I want to see, like, do we, do we have a planet that's been hit by a GRB? And do, do, do we have that information? Like, uh, how, can we see what impact it has? But even a more distant That'd be GRB so could still end life on Earth. And it wouldn't need to score a headshot to kill us. If originating from a few thousand light years away, it would be a hundred light years wide by the time it reaches us. What the fuck? Washing over the solar system like a tidal wave. What? Again, the ozone layer protects us, but it's better equipped to handle the trickle of ultraviolet from the sun. A gamma ray burst would overwhelm it, leaving us exposed to deadly solar radiation. Ozone takes years to replenish itself by natural processes, which is more than enough time for the sun to burn the Earth sterile. Or at least to kill most complex Wait, if the ozone replenishes itself, right? Is it, is, is it bullshit how the people said there was holes in the ozone layer? I'm pretty sure someone, like, on the news, it was like, oh my god, there's a massive hole in the ozone layer, blah, blah, blah. But I, I've never heard or seen anything else of that. So I just always assumed it might be, like, it, it's normal for the ozone to have some holes. It, as it replenishes itself, like, it doesn't have holes. Life. In fact, this Surely may have already have. happened. A GRB has been suggested as one possible cause of the Ordovician extinction 450 million years ago. What the fuck are these? It, it, what, 450 mil, million years ago, we had legit Pokemon? This, this was like, bro. That eradicated <laughs> almost 85% of all marine species. Pokemon! Although it's pretty much impossible to prove. Gamma ray bursts bro. could even be one reason we don't see life anywhere else in the universe they might be wiping clean huge chunks of it on a regular basis. How it's been we suggested not been that because then? of GRBs, only 10% of all galaxies might be hospitable to life similar wow, to us. Crazy. So, are they going to kill us? Probably not. In a galaxy like ours, there may only be one GRB per millennia, and to harm us, they must be close and directed at us. But since gamma rays travel at the speed of light, we won't know one is headed our way until it arrives. So there That's could already be a mad. GRB on its way to kill us all, and we won't know it until it hits us, and we're dead. Bro, that's fucking mad. Bro, think about this, right? There's legit bullets in the universe that we have to constantly be dodging, right? You're scared about real life, being in the wrong place, wrong time. Motherfucker, we're in a war zone in space with space shit. That was a really, really, really good video, though. Enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, too. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.